The innocuous looking casuarina tree is one of the most valuable additions to the Indian subcontinent. Extensively cultivated by farmers in the state of Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Odisha and the Union Territory of Puducherry, casuarina grows in about 5 lakh hectares as a short rotation crop lasting 3 to 5 years. This is a tree that can be cultivated in varied soil types along with a wide variety of agricultural crops. Furthermore, it is easy to grow and is cost effective as well. Major paper mills in South India use around 15 lakh tons of cashewrina wood every year, converting tree pulp into raw and finished paper. In addition to this, another 30 lakh tons of cashewrina poles are used in the construction sector as sturdy scaffolding. It is this varied usage that has sustained the demand for cashewrina wood, making its cultivation always profitable for farmers in the past 50 years. Since it contributes to nitrogen fixing, this tree can grow in landscapes where the availability of nutrients is low. These plantations act as effective shelter belts to protect coastal lines and habitations. This is mainly because they are able to withstand harsh, salt-laden winds from the sea and survive quite well in sandy soil of poor quality. It is common to find casuarinas used as windbreaks in diverse agricultural landscapes. As fuel wood, cashewrina scores over its counterparts with its high calorific value. The stem and roots of this versatile tree are used to make high-quality charcoal. ICFRE, Indian Council of Forestry Research and Education, is the national apex body that provides information relating to extensive forestry research across the country. It is a scientific knowledge repository related to forestry, environment and climate change, disseminating updated information to various stakeholders through its institutes like IFGTB. At the Institute of Forest Genetics and Tree Breeding IFGTB, extensive research has ensured that there is sustained improvement in the quality and productivity of casuarina plantations. Over three decades, IFGTB has systematically examined, documented and facilitated robust cultivation of this highly adaptable crop. India cultivates two species of Cashewarina, Cashewarina equisetifolia and Cashewarina zunguniana. Cashewarina equisetifolia, which is locally referred to as Nata Savaku, is best suited to coastal areas and requires a reasonable level of irrigation. This species is mainly propagated through seeds with a cultivation or rotation cycle of 5 to 6 years. The best yield expected would be 30 to 40 tons of wood per acre. Casuarina zunguniana is a recent addition and grows much faster than Casuarina equisitifolia. It is a highly drought tolerant species and grows in coastal as well as inland areas. It can be propagated both through seeds and rooted cuttings and yields up to 40 to 50 tons per acre in about 4 to 5 years. Earlier, only a single clonal variety called CJ1, also called the Marakkanam clone or Zunguniana clone was cultivated. This clone was quite adaptable to multiple soil types. On an average, the yield was 50 to 60 tons per acre in about 4 to 5 years. IFGTB first released a clone of Casuarina Zunguniana called CJ9. This was highly drought tolerant and disease resistant, cultivable in varied soil types yielding a high of 60 to 70 tons per acre in 4 to 5 years. I was going to go to GJ9 and I was going to go to GJ9 and I was going to go to GJ9 and I was going to go then released hybrid clones CH1, CH2 and CH5 which are now widely cultivated. They grow much faster than all other available varieties and are popularly called speed variety or hybrid variety. They can be planted in all types of soil except clay soil and areas prone to water logging. 
the wood yield from these clones is 70 to 80 tons per acre in about three to four years. The Institute of Forest Genetics and Tree Breeding has released many high yielding varieties of Casuarina. Varieties suitable for different locations and soil types are now available. By choosing the most suitable variety, farmers can easily double the wood production. In addition to popularizing these Casuarina clones, IFGTB develops clone-specific package of practices for higher productivity. Clonal plants and quality seeds are available at IFGTB. Also, clonal plants are available at select IFGTB licensed nurseries. Now, the process. Cuttings are collected from vegetative multiplication gardens and are processed by treating them with fungicide. Thereafter, they are planted in a rooting medium. These cuttings are then placed in mist chambers in high humidity conditions to ensure healthy rooting. Once the rooting process is completed, they are removed from the mist chamber to ensure acclimatization to natural conditions. IFGTP is researching on clone-specific silviculture for optimizing resource inputs for plantation. It is important that farmers adopt clone-specific silvicultural practices for maximizing wood productivity and with minimum input cost. By adopting recommended silvicultural practices, farmers additionally get the feasibility of intercropping and ease of weeding and tillage operations. At this stage, Beneficial microorganisms like Frankia are introduced to induce nodule formation in the roots. Next is the treatment with biocontrol agents like Trichoderma, Bacillus and Micromonospora. This is to help prevent the incidence of diseases in young saplings that are transplanted in a new field. It is essential to ensure adequate space while planting for root development guarantees sufficient nutrient absorption and anchors trees as well. When trees are planted too close, both sunlight and airflow are limited. This leads to diseases like collar rot, resulting in windfall. While cultivating CH clones, these guidelines are strongly recommended. The optimum stocking is 2,400 to 2,700 trees per acre. For a four-year rotation period, cultivation of 2,400 trees in a space of 6 by 3 feet or 2,500 trees in 5 by 3.5 feet spacing has been found optimal. For a three-year rotation period, 2,700 trees in a space of 4 by 4 feet is ideal. Irrespective of the number of rotation years, the distance between two rows should not be less than 4 feet. This enables the cultivation of intercrops as well. Aligning rows from east to west enhances the receipt of sunlight in the plantation. To ensure a healthy crop, the land is first ploughed well and rows aligned in the recommended direction and distance. Saplings are planted in pits dug within the rows. To ensure uniform and quick growth, it is essential to keep the plot weed-free in the first year. Since CH clones are fairly drought-tolerant, they grow well with limited irrigation. Excess irrigation leads to root rot disease. Therefore, adopting a drying, wetting drying cycle of irrigation is suitable for these varieties. It is recommended that young trees are irrigated once a week for the first six months. The interval can then be increased gradually. Intercropping can be done in the first six months after planting. Groundnut, black gram, green gram and watermelon are well suited as suitable intercrops. Vegetables like chili, tomato and brinjal are best avoided as the pathogens infecting them are likely to infect casuarina plants too. Sauga potu naal maasa aachi. Sauga potu malatu potu kira moodu paira. Sauga ilo ondu oodu veer seyra naane. Oodu veer ondu po vamban patthu nu ulundu oor ragam potu irukkaan. 
இந்த ஊடு பயிர் செய்கிறதுனால எனக்கு என்ன ஒரு லாபம்னாக்கா பண்ணுற சவுக்கியில் பண்ணுற செலவு ஃபுல்லாகவே வந்து எனக்கு ஊடு பயிரில் கிடச்சிடும் எனக்கு இந்த உளுந்தில் கிடச்சிடும் ரெகுலர் ப்ரூனிங் ஆஃப் பிரான்ச்சஸ் ஆன் த சைட் இன்ஷோர்ஸ் அ ஃபாஸ்ட் இன்க்ரீஸ் இன் த கேர்த் ஆஃப் த ட்ரீஸ் இட் இஸ் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் டு என்ஷோர் தட் த மெயின் ஸ்டெம் இஸ் நாட் டேமேஜ்ட் while pruning generally pruning is done at specific intervals that is 6 12 and 18 months pruning must be avoided during the rainy season to ensure firm rooting of a sapling a basal dose of 5 grams of superphosphate per pit is recommended providing phosphorus potash and other micronutrients during the early stages of the cultivation cycle helps in developing robust root systems with functioning nodules it also helps build associations with other beneficial microorganisms caturina fixes atmospheric nitrogen in their root nodule it requires minimum quantity of nitrogenous fertilizers bio fertilizers like phosphobacteria frangia will improve the adaptability of caturina plantation against various biotic and abiotic stresses the fertilizer application should be done based on soil test recommendation application of fertilizers in different split doses will improve the nutrient use efficiency and increase the productivity of cashewna plantation in cashewrina plantations the only serious insect threat in adult trees is the bark eating caterpillar called inderbella the larvae of this insect lives in the tunnels they make in the main stem and feed on the bark of adult trees This pest is best managed by using a suitable insecticide in young plantations and entomopathogenic fungi in older ones. The other diseases to watch out for are collar rot and bacterial wilt diseases which cause damage in young plantations. This disease is common in heavy clay soil and waterlogged areas. The biocontrol agent Micromonospora called Mono20 is very effective to control the bacterial wilt in young plantations of Cassiana and in nursery. Blister bark and root rot diseases can be controlled by Trichoke which is a biocontrol agent contains Trichoderma breeding. In general, CH clonal plantations yield 60 to 70 tons of wood. in a 3 year rotation and 80 to 100 tons in a rotation of 4 or more years today estimating wood yield has become easy thanks to tree genie a mobile app developed by ifgtb poda and galama sagu sagudi pannin vandiruka adle gh5 the ragandrathu romba tharamavum irukku adanal idu ella man vagaikkum yatha ragamavum irukku adanal idu ella vyavasayangalo saagupadi seidhu payan varalam அஞ்சு வருஷமாக சவுக்கு சாகுபடி பண்ணிட்டு இருக்கேன் முதல் டைம் வந்து சிஜே நயன் அப்படின்னு ஒரு ரகம் வச்சுருந்தேன் ரெண்டே முக்கால் ஏக்கருக்கு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா இரநூத்தி ஐம்பது டன்னு அதாவது ஏக்கருக்கு தொண்ணூறு டன்னு டன்னை தாண்டி எனக்கு மகசூல் கிடைச்சிது அதுக்கப்புறம் சிஹெச் ஃபைவ் அப்படின்னு ஒரு ரகம் கொடுத்தாங்க அது இன்னைக்கு நல்லா வளர்ச்சி வந்து ஒரு மூணு வருஷத்தில் நாற்பது அடி தாண்டி வளர்ந்துருக்கு இது அந்த சவுக்கு கூட கம்பேர் பண்ணும்போது அந்த டைம் வந்து எனக்கு ஒரு நூறு டன்னை தாண்டி மகசூல் வரும்னு எதிர்பார்க்குறேன் The increase in wood production has led to a significant rise in their farm income. IFGTB's research efforts are geared towards finding workable ways to shorten the crop rotation and increase the productivity of cashew arena. Rapid expansion of high yielding plantations attributes to achieve the goal of Ministry of Environment, Forests and Climate Change to sustain and nurture the country's essential green cover. Forest scientists have risen to the challenges of increased demand and clone specific issues that plague casuarina cultivation. The fast growing clones of IFGTB have increased wood production and farm income manifold. They have also fulfilled wood raw material demand of industries. Still there are challenges to overcome. IFGTB will work on improving wood quality to make it more valuable. drought and disease resistant varieties that are also resilient to climate change need to be developed in partnership with farmers industries and international research organizations our journey will continue to make cashna cultivation more profitable and sustainable